And that they need to really be the most intimidating in these fights. Sumail, glimpse. Again, really not the greatest distance though. And the, the spot that he was in is Pango. He put himself up here on the cliff. He's going to be able to shield crush down, but got a little scary for him. Fissure block as well. In the back of that city, the Eclipse comes out, and he's chasing for more. Pango's already dead, so Mail's feeling really good right now. Of course, he has a so vacuum over the ledge coming out from S4. Fear's definitely dead. Moves able to run. That's a double damage active on TZ, by the way, and they're going for more. They catch up to Juggernaut, beating him down. The stun on OG. Trying to save it. The Fuse grip locking up. Moving place. Moves going to end up falling as well. He does not have a buyback for nine. 90 seconds, an ultra kill for Sumail to top it all off. By the way, all the tier threes are still up, and they were basically diving the fountain right there. Yeah, there's the echo. Not, not too bad, but again, it's just too little, too late. It feels like tier four goes down. Although Sumail, he might get cut down the sleep, helping them a little bit. Oh my God, he's actually gonna get away. He has a blink coming back up. Okay, now he gets caught, but again, he still the ages, so he's going to come back up anyways. Moving the back lines, trying to do what he can. Uh, the Fiend's Grip locking him in place, though, and now Samael turns his attention over to Moo. And Moo is dead. He does have a buyback this time around, but there we go. The GGs are called. It's official. Evil Geniuses takes game one. The back him now on cooldown. There's a going with Ball Lightning. Caught in the back lines with the Yozakut off to the side. He's going to be spotted. Leshrac, he's melting, actually. Those Riptide procs doing works. And he gets shredded to pieces. So the Aegis bring him back up. Now they do kill some ale. He has a buyback ready to go, though. So now Brile. Yeah, he did use a Bloodstone. Good point. He did not use his BKB, though. The counter vacuum coming in from Rubik. Buyback on Samael finally happening. They're going after Spectre. The Orchid silence. She'll crash onto Samael, though. Over here, Dying Ball to keep it ticking. Probably possibly can be. Now he's like, yeah, deal with this, please. The Naga Sleep going off. But Brow, once again, he doesn't care. He's finally going to be slept. Buybacks continue to happen. Nobody currently dead because of it at this time. So BKB on cooldown now for last track. Maybe an opening for the Dire. Crit jumps to the back lines, goes for the solo echo slam on a Rubik, doing the lockdown with the pitcher as well. Down goes Crit though, double kill for Brawl in the midst, Static Storm as well, but the stolen sleep once again from Fear. And with the axe, exactly, they're going to be back at full life, and now here's the response. That's for he searches out the lift, though, on Storm Speed as soon as they come out of it. He's going to die back right there. Arteezy in the midst of it. Triple kill for Prowl throughout. Arteezy himself trying to run, though. Pain going pursued. The disarm on his drop, the lucky shot slow. They're going for the finish. They're going cutthroat, and they want to go to a game number three. Does Jay Storm? They're going to the damn fountain, because why the hell not? Ultra kill for Brile. And there's the GG. We got a game three with a major opportunity on the line. He's fourth in net worth, but he's not far behind, even the Naga Siren. He's uh, top in the game. All three cores continuing to do very well for Evil Geniuses right now. Middle lane, they're collapsing. Drink all use. Any of the Eclipse comes out of response to Mill. He's taking the damage for now, and he's going to be good. There's the ensnare, but with the Stampede buys it. It's a nice job with the Imprisonment as well. Puts himself under, preventing the kill with the Illusory Orb back here. Magnetizes, ticking down several heroes. Centaur in the front line. Abaddon was picked off. The Fiend's Grip locking on the right. Naga Siren, by the way, but the heal's coming out from Abaddon. He's going to be put under. They kill Centaur, and Samel went too deep. It seems like, yes, he goes down. But they do cut the Naga Siren. Yeah, with our TZ here on the shape shift, he's able to cut right through. So three are dead currently on the side of J-Storm. Abaddon, no borrowed time. Having to be careful. <laughs> They're still hanging around, kind of. Uh, Forever almost tempting with them. He's got a swashbuckle to use. Probably see it used to get out if needed, but not the case there. That was quite the clash in the middle lane, though. Prince making his way over, and they might run into them. In fact, Santa, right? he just jumps in. Catches uh, the Naga Siren initially, splits up, does have her song. If needed, Centaur, nice response. They get the kill on him, so not enough numbers there for EG initially, but now more are coming. Samuel, though, the Riptide procs doing plenty of damage. He's in trouble, but Naga Siren's the Fiend's Grip locking him down. The Dream Coil came out too late. They've already got the kill on Naga. Illusory Orb through, and Puck wants to get the hell on out of there. Crit trying to change that, though. He kicks him back in. The damage from Samuel also happening. They pick up Fear elsewhere, and they are going to catch the kill on Bryle. So it took a while, but EG eventually comes together. S4 got there early and set all of this up. They take out March to finish a four for one. Or spy kits, it's coming. They got a finger still. It's only level one, but he puts himself under and off to the side. They catch somebody else over here. Looks like it's Naga Siren. He's trying to deal with this whole thing. And in fact, he just gets bursted down by the sending of these eclipse, and just like that, they're all dead on the side of J Storm. So a very close call there. But he will stay alive. Curse on a Juggernaut. It's going to hold him in place. 
but not really the most coming out of it. In fact, it forces Complexity to almost chase after them. Sunder coming up from Terrible, not a big one. BKB from CCNC, and now forwards chasing back. It's just a death ball clump on top of one another. It's hard to tell even what's really happening. Miracle, he pops his own BKB though. Again, no metamorphosis. He's still doing some melee damage though. And then tie back on center happens. Your war explodes as well with a couple of races in the Requiem. He buys back immediately. MSS in trouble now once again. The Hex are kiting so real, but it's not enough. A couple of diebacks happen on the side of forward gaming, but they still want to pursue. Juggernaut goes in. He's on top of Terrible back there. Death is going to try to TP out. No, he gets glimpsed back in. And Darkseer now going to go on a run. He's got some wand charges. There's the uh, there's the surge. Uh, yeah, might as well. <laughs> going to go into their base. No, he doesn't. Okay, he is going to die in the end. And PA jumped in, but they changed their mind. They, they want to try to maybe catch Shadow Fane. They're going to go for it. He's got the Greaves as mentioned. He's going to pop his Rock Cream. Nope, he gets silenced up. He pops it off with the Greaves immediately going for the Rock Cream. Once again, another silence takes place, though. The Waiting Rift comes out. He's going to die. Exit and pop from CCNC. He's standing his ground. The Blade Mail going to reflect some of that damage. Remember, so CCNC's dropping, but they're going to get a kill first. Double kill for the Death Prophet. That wipe completely, essentially, for forward gaming. They're going to jump on him. He still has blade. Why is he not using blade mill? He's just so late right there. Requiem goes off in the back line. So Miracle will survive for now. Brewmaster jumping in the back line. But Brewmaster can't probably split the silence again. The Magnetize is doing tons of damage. They get the Aegis use on Phantom Assassin. But buyback from Brewmaster. Again, he still has a split. Siphon on Earth Spirit. He's going to live, actually. And Miracle's running forward. So this is not looking too bad for Complexity all of a sudden. Rod of HL still on a Miracle. And he went too far. It's now looking bad. He's out for 50. 3 for 3 Again, what? Is, Death jumps in without a problem split. What is he doing? He's going to get silenced up. And that's a dieback. I don't know about that. Limp, he's going to try to man up. Kind of has to at this point. Get the double raise, but it doesn't matter. Miracle with the buyback. So the Shadow Fiend. Complexity. Absolute desperation here. Just buying back on everyone. Oh, man. And look at MSS still cleaning up the position for Puck, continuing to do work, doing damage. That's going to be a dieback on Shadow Fiend if he goes down here. Phantom Assassin will complete the job with one more attack. 90 seconds he's out for. I think game number three. In fact, there we go. GG's called. Game number three. We're going to it. The MDL Disneyland Paris Major spot on the line. Life Stealer lifted up. He's going in though. He wants to rage and go for the steal. It's not going to happen though. Troll's going to pick up the Aegis and the Cheese. And the lift once again on a Life Stealer in the back line. CCNC is a half life. He pops his BKB. Trying to kill the Tombstone. On the ledge. Perfectly placed. It feels like Miracle. He's manned up against Yuar. Two different fights happening. Let's go to the north. It looks like Your Spirit's going to be picked off. And they got Wyvern as well. He buys back to Z Freak. Supernova. Will he get it off in time? He still has it. He's not using it yet. He's distracting. Can use it at the last second. Maybe there's the Supernova. So he might die still. But he's making the waste a lot of time. He is going to go down. But as he mentioned, Yuar falls over here to limp as well as Miracle. Now Kitrak, he's in trouble, which is Chris saving him for the time being, but Death will change that. He takes out the Wyvern, and CCNC trying to keep blinking away. Has a Yules. Another blink in one second. I think she's good. Snake King's at the bottom, but yeah, that fight got completely split as Yawar found him. Easier said than done. Wyvern's trying. They jump in the back lines. They catch the Phoenix off the bat. Phoenix is going to die. He does have a buyback. I'm sure we'll see that. There we go. Miracle, meanwhile, he's into the fight. To last battle, Trance buyback on a Wyvern as he went down to limp. Miracle's still in hot pursuit. He wants to save. Probably he's going to catch the Life Stealer, however, and just smashes his face into the ground. Life Stealer fights back immediately, too. Her spirit's caught by limp off to the side. He's going to go down. Double kill for limp. And now Snake King is caught out himself. Sprout, TP, that's not going to work. He is staying dead for two minutes. So he's the only one currently going to be dead, but five versus four, the base is being overrun. Let's go back for Roshan says complexity. I don't want to delay too much. Nature's profit in 50 seconds. <clears throat> yeah, he's had, he had the Tranquil boots earlier. He's gone through. This is his third pair of boots, technically. The bots. Anyways, Limp jumps in on a Quap. Quap's gonna melt. She's out. She is a buyback, though. She will come back. You are manning up. He would not have a buyback, remember. He's turning his attention over here. Abyssal Blade locking down on the Brewmaster. Crown will split in three seconds, though. The Shadow Strike AoE just trying to push up the lanes while also fighting this rolling axis coming out though. The Supernova in the midst of the fight. They're gonna take out her spirit. He is staying dead. Life is gonna get caught by the stun. The GD's call complexity is indeed going to Disneyland. And the MDL Disneyland Paris Major. Referees North America. They gotta feel pretty good about it.